17-21-16 for the top seeds Gideon and Sukamulyu who get semi-final Saturday off to a flyer. No nonsense performance there in the men's doubles. Now it's the first of our women's singles. Your Jamin of Singapore taking on the third seed in the women's singles event, Michelle Lee of Canada. World number six is Yo Jamin. And, uh, well, just two spots off of that career high that she hit 24 in the world on the 5th of November. This is their route through. Yesterday down in Liantan of Belgium, 21-18 in the deciding game. For Michelle Lee, a little bit more straightforward, downing uh, one of two Turks that uh, both found their way to the last eight. Demir Bag was downed in straight games, as was uh, Neslihan Yijit, who lost out to Onban Rumfan just down below. So. Bye to the Turks. We'll be seeing more of them in Indonesia, no doubt. But uh, good to have two of them going so deep in this World Tour Super 500 level event. Here's uh, Hio Jamin, the world number 26, born and raised in Singapore to Malaysian parents who are both uh, Singapore permanent residents. She's 22 years of age, five foot five, and here is her opponent today. Michelle Lee, just uh, five inches, three inches taller at five foot eight. She had her 30th birthday three days ago, did Michelle? That was on Wednesday. Hong Kong born, resides in Markham, Ontario, from the age of six in Canada. World number 11 at the moment is Michelle Lee, three spots off her career high of eight in the world. She's played 13 matches this year, the Canadian, won six, lost seven. Her opponent, four and five on the year. Michelle Lee leads two love red in the head-to-head. Black. -head. black, red for you. Red. Uh, yes, sir. Inside. Uh, okay, good luck. So you heard it, the young lady in red will serve eight years junior to uh, the 30-year-old Canadian. World number 26. Big ask for her today. Never beaten Michelle Lee before. They did their previous head-to-head. Uh, -head. She hasn't taken a game in their previous two matches. They've been tight games, but both matches around the three-quarter of an hour mark. They met twice in 2019. That's, uh, as I say, just two spots is your off of her career high ranking. Yeah, they met in the Chinese Taipei Open in uh, September, early September 2019, and she lost uh, 19 and 14 to Michelle. Lost uh, 20 and 15 in the Sudaman Cup of the same year as well. In uh, the middle of May from Guangxi Sports Center Gymnasium as well. So, uh, and this is her route through. Pretty emphatic, downing Tunjun, her best result, the sixth seed in straight games, uh, along with Payupo and Lian Tan, the Belgium, just uh, extending Yojimin to uh, almost an hour on court yesterday. Wonder whether that'll take its toll. Michelle Lee, eight years older, born in Hong Kong, China. Now resides in Markham, as we said. Six wins, seven losses. And uh, very plain sailing for Michelle so far. She'll be delighted to have not been uh, detained for too long. It's all been fairly emphatic for her. All straight games. Toughest match was uh, Red to play. against Ali Demirbag of Turkey yesterday. Extended for 42 minutes. Fabio Lopez in the chair from Brazil. And uh, Vladi Darashevich, the Belarusian service judge, just opposite. So will the third seed out here in the women's event hit a uh, cut and paste or a repeat of the previous two matches or will Yojamin get off to a better start? Never taken a game before off of Michelle Lee who's a very experienced campaigner, has been inside uh, eight in the world but she's had 
you know, a few sort of injury issues. A bit of a Achilles problem this year. She slipped in the Sudden Cup, rolled her ankle, and led to a little bit of an Achilles problem. And she's getting used to playing with a little bit of pain in most matches, she says, and that takes its toll. When your body's niggling at you, it doesn't become much Ladies fun. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yo Jia Min Singapore. And on my left, Michelle Lee, Canada. Yo Jia Min to serve, love all, play. You're Jimmy, in recent uh, quarter-finalist at the French Lock. Open. Quarter-finalist at the BWF World Championships 2019 as well, the young lady in red. Won the Hyderabad Open in that year as well. So, richly talented, as you can see. Moves well, light, and glides around the court. Two. Had five quarter-finals in that 2019 season as well. But after that World Champs quarterfinal show, and kind of lost her way. She lost eight of the nine first round matches thereafter. But she's back here with a vengeance and uh, hitting the shuttle very, very well. Sends over. A couple of titles One, to her name. She won the two. 2018 Vietnam Open Super 100 level event. As I say, the Hyderabad Open the year later, and she beat uh, Korea's Anse Young, 21-19 in that final. Halt. Set it over. Three, one. Michelle Lee on the board. Made quarterfinals in the two big tournaments at the start of the year down in Thailand. Toyota Thailand Open and Yonex Thailand Open, both quarterfinal showings. Semi finals of the Denmark Open last year. That's nice. Took a little bit of time off. Sends over. Two, three. To the Uber Cup. Some silver for. Two. Send over. Three, four. Send over. Five, three. Understands the significance of this opening game, does your Jamin? There's no doubting that. She's broken away early here with a two-point cushion. Can she sustain the momentum? Six, three.
Well, despite that terrific defensive prowess from the Canadian, the Singaporean managed seven, to hold on to that three. point somehow. This was a super recovery right there. A little wince from Lee. Nicely done. Send over. The finest player Four, in the Pan Am region seven. ever is Michel. Four Pan Am Games gold medals, four Pan Am Championship gold medals, and the Commonwealth Games gold medal in her pocket as well. It's been hard, earned though, that success. Didn't come easy or instantly by any Sensover. means. She's had her own struggles around uh, lack of funding, solo Four. travel on her own, and of course, as I mentioned at the top of the program, coping with a few injuries and playing with pain. String break. Yeah, hence the lack of control in the last shot from the Singaporean. Sends over. Five, eight. Yujamin finds um, her countryman very inspirational, Lo Kian Yu. When he's playing his best, he's great to watch. Called his uh, winning the title down at the uh, Thailand Masters in 2019, where he beat Lin Dan amongst others. Sensover, He'll be up fourth match, nine, actually. Takes on five. Lakshya Sen of India. That one should be spellbinding. It's following the women's doubles that follows this match. That's just missed. Good uh, judgment Sensover, from the Canadian. Six, nine. Michelle Lee says she gets a little frustrated over. with the uh, lack of Ten, financial support from six. Badminton Canada. Difficult because badminton is such a small sport back home. Sponsors aren't interested. But if uh, I go to Asia, they wouldn't sponsor someone from Canada. So she's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place there. 11-6, interval. So we head to the mid-game interval with the Singaporean with a five-point buffer, 11 points to six. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Clear back on court. Eleven six play. Oh, that's gorgeous. Really nice. Michelle Lee rooted to 12, the spot there. Didn't get a read six. on that at all. Wonderful skills. Little fist pump 13, from Yu Jamin. Just to kind of get in the face of Michelle Lee a little as well as buoying her own confidence. Sends over, 7-13. Well, yet to lose a single game in this competition so far is Michelle Lee. But she's under siege here in this opener.
unable to respond there. Terrific. From Yu Jimin. 14 7. Canadian coach's eyes darting around, looking a little concerned. Barking out some instruction. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Wonderful little 15, cross snap. Seven. Quick to close that one down. <laughs> well, she's got all the answers right now, has your Jamin. 16-7. As a Busan and Ombang Rung fan of Thailand, the fifth seed takes on Pityapon Chawan, countrywoman in the all-Thai second women's semi-final over on court two. And it looks to me that like Michelle Lee is not too keen seven. to really push herself physically, almost though she's hampered a little with perhaps uh, the Achilles that we were talking about before. Took a little bit of time off after the Uber Cup. Oh. Set us over, 8-17. Oh, lovely little clip down there. That was nice. Showing a class on that occasion. Nine, but there's 17. only been the odd little glimmer. The fans will be asking for more. High skill level. Send over. 18. Well, this nine. would be quite a coup if Yul Jamin can win the opening game and detain Michelle Lee to under 10 points. That's nice. Sends over 10 18. She looks very relaxed, doesn't she, Michelle Lee? Always does when she plays. She's smooth, she glides around the court, but there's not been quite that acceleration that we often see from her today. Yet, anyhow. Eleven, eighteen. Silver, 19-11. Well, the former world number eight, current world number 11, unable to gain any more traction than two consecutive points in this opening game. Her efforts have been muted by the Singaporean and her excellent athleticism at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Sends over, 12-19. In the past, she often had to travel with, without a coach in her corner.
and silver. 20, game point 12. Eight game points for Yo Jamin. Surprising many here. Game. Well, an excellent opening game for the Singaporean 22-year-old. World number 26 21, in red 12. comes through. 21-12, that opening game in some style. Inside quarter of an hour, 14 minutes to be precise. Really dictatorial, owning the show so far. And really setting the tempo and tone. It's a lopsided affair at the moment, this one. Get one, twenty seconds, get one, twenty seconds. Second game, love all. Play. Can the third seed in the women's singles draw make amends here? She's a game down to Yu Jamin, a player that she's beaten twice emphatically in the past. Both straight game wins. One. Law. But we so know over, one thing about Michelle Lee. She's all. very, very determined. And her A game is sort of creative and hard hitting, but we haven't seen a lot of that at the moment. Two, one. And as long as her focus isn't diluted by worries about money or pain, she can go toe to toe with the world's very best and come away with results. She's twice beaten Tai Su Ying along the way. She knows exactly what she's up against, but she's really grappling with this one a little. Much tidier start though from the 30-year-old Canadian One. in game two. A must-win game, of course. If she's to uh, extend her stay to the Sunday here in Saarbrücken. Just wanted to change the shuttle. And over. Two, three. A little squeal of delight from Michelle Lee. And over. Four, two. And a much more determined look about her. She's walking a little taller now and ready to really get her teeth into this one, you sense. Having been certainly below par in that opening game. Ah! 
Nicely done. And I guess the question on everybody's lips is how much is she prepared to really push her legs? Five, and she'll two. need to today. In the opening game, just reaching a little and you know stretching rather than really getting her feet to the shuttle. Easy from here. And I don't want to do a, a disservice to try and put her down at all because she's an exquisite athlete and a terrific player who's grappling perhaps with body niggles. I overpressed that Sense one. Over. Three, five. Yeah, nice power. Well done. Seven over. Six, three. Seven over. Four. Six. Five. Well, with choices six. like that, you kind of... It infers that she wants a quick out of the points. Perhaps not enjoying the physicality of this contest as much as she would like. Yours, I mean, exquisite touch there and happy to extend the rallies as Six. long as is needed. Oh. Seven, six. Seven over. Seven all. Twice a champion in Macau is Michelle Lee. Change. Runner up in the Chinese Taipei Open, semi-finals of the Korean Open as well. In 2019. But she seems a lot more invested in this game. Seven. Tell from the body language and the more purposeful demeanour. It's a pride thing as well, isn't it, when you've never lost to somebody before. In fact, she's had two previous wins in straight games, so you know she'll want to really get into this. Good touch from your Jamin. Seven over, eight all. Oh. It's over, nine, eight. Well, of course, with much of the dialogue around that sort of Achilles issue around the Olympic Games, etc., there was conversations opening up about our mental well-being. We've had all of that, you know. It's never easy. But most players, when they cross 30, have to deal with some kind of physical issues from time to time. Found it, the Singaporean. It's over. Right Nine, on the back line. All. Doing a good job to play kind of in-your-face badminton and stay with the world number 11.
really nice from Michelle Lee. Lovely straight net. Seven over. Ten. Nine. This one here, look at this. Cheeky little back behind. Service over, 10, all. Another 11, timely 10, response from Yojamin of Singapore, the world number 26, back in the box seat as they head to the mid-game interval. 11 points to 10, and a game to the good. Thirty one, twenty seconds, thirty one, twenty seconds. Okay, I don't court. Eleven, ten, play. Thirteen ten. Play. Seven over. Eleven thirteen. Over. Starting to really enjoy herself right 14, now, Yojamin. Eleven. No signs of nerves. She's got it all under control out here and finding all the answers. Playing some timely badminton. Really looking like she believes. And the woes continue for Michelle Lee. Fifteen. Eleven. Oh, nice. She needs a few more where that one came from. It's over. 12, 15. There's been almost a sort of passive smile of acceptance, seemingly. But that was glorious. Can she make something of this and cause a little flurry on the scoreboard going her way? That'll help. 13. 
15. Seven silver, 16, 13. Oh. Oh. Barking with Seven approval. Silver. After that point 14, is Michel Lee. 16. The resurgence has to start right now. If she's to make a real fist of this one, because Yojamin is looking menacing at the very top of the draw. In the absence of Rachanot Intanon, who fell a couple of rounds ago, Singaporean is looking absolutely rampant now as she started future pacing 15, a little who knows 16. but we do know that the canadian is nibbling away at the arrears on the scoreboard nicely now she's won four out of the last five points five out of the last six a spirited comeback 16, as she brings parity oh. to the scoreboard in game two. Having been 11 15 down, this is quite a turnaround. Can she hold on? Seven silver. 17. 16. Oh, yes, very well played. Managed to manipulate her body to get that Seven round head away in the longest rally of the 17. match, 32 shots. That oh. was a spellbinding rally. Canadian delighting many in finding a way through there. Eighteen, seventeen. Swiveling around away from the court in disbelief 18. there, Michelle oh. Lee at missing that. That'll go down as an unforced error. Singaporean coach looking pretty excited right now. Three points away from victory, Yojamin. Set it over. It's been a nervy 19, few points. 18. A lot of points at stake in a Super 500 level event here in the high-low badminton open. Send silver. 
19 all. Some of these errors are like salt to the wounds at this stage. Both really need to bring their A game. But it's often rarely on tap when you need it most. Oh, yes. Michelle Lee suggesting that she touched the net. 20, match point 19. Umpire having none of it. Umpire Fabio Lopez from Brazil. Mascot unsure as well. So, match point then for Yojamin. It's over, 20 all. Pleased with herself again there. Back-to-back -back points of solidity from Michelle Lee. 21, 20. Much needed as well. Now, having saved a match point, can she turn this around and secure game two with a game point of her own? No, she's missed it. Totally in the driving seat of that point. Over. And she knows it. 21 all. Play. Well, the heart will be pounding. She's got to settle down with deep breaths. It's gone, and with that comes a second match point for you, Jamin. How about that? For Sober. Gutsy. 22 all. Brings parity to the affair. Saves a second match point. Does Michelle Lee. Commendably. She's still afloat somehow. Oh, yes. Terrific save to her left. Turned the point round nicely. Great athleticism. 22. And creativity here from Michelle Lee. Hammers that one home with authority. And a second game point opportunity upcoming then for the Canadian. Bold and insistent play from Yojami. It's over. 23 all. You? Well, the crowd delighting in this one. Who's going to blink first? Two match points Eight. have come and gone. Two game points have come and gone for Michel Lee. What next in this topsy turvy? Roller coaster of game two. Oh, she's overpressed. So easy to do. Force the play. 
24-23. So is it third time lucky then for Michelle Lee here? Cool, calm yeah. and collective. The former world number eight, Second the Maple one, Leaf from Michelle Canada, Lee. Michelle Lee, dodges a couple of bullets one game all. in game two, having saved two match points and extends her stay. 40 minutes we've witnessed, and we're going to go down the final stretch with a deciding game. Don't go anywhere. Michelle Lee still alive and kicking. Yeah, Thirty-one, Seven silver, one lot. Seven silver, one all. Just had some hang time, that shuttle, didn't it? Two, one. Seems to have grown in confidence, having somehow stolen game two, Michelle Lee. Incidentally, to keep you abreast of what's happening on the other court, and show court two, of course, the all-Thai women's singles semi-final clash. Opening game's gone the way of Pitapon, Pitapon uh, Chawan. 21-16 over Busan on Ban Run fan. She's 7-9 down in game two. And of course it was Chai Wan that beat uh, Pompui Chocha Wong in the second round in straight games. As well as Lena Kirschfeld yesterday. Over three, two.
Hands over. Three, all. Well, I was just about to say how Michelle Lee's tidy up her game, but then suddenly she bleeds a couple of unforced errors. And uh, Yojamin gets her nose in front again. As she was throughout the majority of game two. Oh, yes. A little nibble off the top of the net cord helped. Five, three. Good recovery here from the Canadian, though. But uh, closing well, Mio Jemin. Now, how will she respond to having had and lost two match points? It's a tough dynamic to swallow. Looks a little uptight, not as quite as relaxed as she was earlier. Got to flush that from her mind and move forwards. I'm sure the coach and her will have had that conversation at the change of ends. But it's often easier said than done. Six, three. Yeah, more out than in, I'd suggest. That's probably why uh, Eight, Lee three. didn't want a challenge. So, five point cushion for Yo Jamin. Yeah, really cleverly done from Yojimin, keeping the momentum, working very Nine, hard to turn three. defense into attack nicely there. Wonderfully neutralized and swung around her way. That's a terrific little run of six consecutive points from the young 22-year-old from Singapore, who was poised nicely in game three. Or is she? Michelle Lee immediately over. with a little Four. bite back. Nine. This, of course, one of uh, eight matches we'll be bringing you today on semi-final Saturday. Plenty more to come. Five, nine. Now a mini flurry from Michelle Lee, two in a row. Oh, nicely done. What a response that was. Sends over. So quick Ten, to close this down. Five. Look at this. Excellent hand skills as well. Lovely work from the fingers. Oh, very high class shot there from Sensova, the world number 11. Six, ten. Stunning response. Look at this, mixing up the attack lines beautifully. Six, 
and silver. 11-6. Well, Interval each of the three games, eight. it's been the Singaporean that heads to the mid-game interval first with the lead. She does so a game here. Eleven six to the good. Seconds, cut one, twenty seconds. Well, it's a pretty packed house here out here on semi-final Saturday. Lots of uh, fans jammed into the silent Halle. Twelve, six. <laughs> Ten silver, seven, twelve. Done. Keeping the pressure on the Canadian. It's still a lot of work to do. Eight, twelve. Yeah, this venue's hosted concerts by uh, many famous artists, including Aha, ACDC, Krista Bird, Depeche Mode, Bob Dylan, Boney M, Metallica, Pink Floyd, Sting, Uriah Heep. Uh, just endless top artists. But these days, uh, larger, larger productions refrain from visiting it. It's uh, technical requirements of. Not quite up to spec for the biggest of uh, artists, if you will. Sense over. 13, 8. But in 2017, it hosted the 2017 German Darts Open. So an esteemed venue with a rich history since its opening in 1967, 54 years old, this premises. Fourteen, eight. Fifteen, Keeping eight. the pressure on Michelle Lee nicely is Georges Amin, despite that little losing of her way at the back end of game two, having lost a couple of match points, but she's back over. with a frenzy Nine, here. 15. She had a 15-11 lead, did Georges Amin, in the opening in the second game, I should say, unable to convert. Here it's more emphatic, a couple more points cushion her way. But Michelle Lee pushing for pace right now. Desperate to find her way back into the winner's circle again this week. Oh, that's a lovely little clip down from the Singaporean there, and Michelle Lee is downed. Is she out? 16-9. Good physicality from the 22-year-old in the red shirt, the far side of the net. She's responded very, very well so far in game three, has Yojamin. 
she do what she was unable to in game Play. two and put a lid on this match. Oh, yes. Good pressure from the Canadian. Sends over. Having to work 10, extremely 16. hard. But you still can't ride her off at this stage, given what we've seen already today. And knowing all about her tenacity, Thank it's you. a kind of calling card. But Yojimin, the Singaporean, wins another point. Seven and of course, it was that early flurry 17. of seven consecutive points, Ten. wasn't it? From two, three down to nine, three up for Yojimin early in game three. That served her well. It's given her a nice buffer. Can you put away her esteemed rival, an opponent that she's never taken a game off before today? Nineteen. Ten. Two points away now. Just missed. Twenty match point ten. And after fifty six minutes, that brings up ten match point opportunities on top of the two that she had in game two for Yoji, I mean... <laughs> Sam Silver, 11, 20. Perhaps a little obscured there, the Lions judge. A very tardy call coming in the end. A third match point slips through the fingertips of the Singaporean. Again. Not to be denied in the end, it's Yojimin of Singapore, the world number 26, who comes through. It's job done for Yo Jamin, who Yo heads Jamin, into tomorrow's 12, women's singles final. 25, Coming through just inside an hour, 21-12, 23-25, 21-12, a repeat of that first game scoreline, and the emotion never too far away. She smiles, her face breaks. She's delighted to have had her first ever win against a player that she's uh, lost to in the twice previously back in 2019. A really good win for Singapore's Yu Jiamin coming through, as I say, 21-12 in the deciding game. The woes continue for Michelle Lee. And respectfully, Yu waits for her Canadian opponent before she takes leave of the court. She's through to the title decider 
And uh, who will it be that she plays? The Thais adjacent have split games on Bang Room Fan against Chowan. But uh, we do know that Yu Jamin of Singapore will lie in wait for the winner. Coming up next, we've got women's doubles. Kitty Halikun and Prajong Jai as the top seeds here, taking on Hoshi and Matsuda of Japan. Welcome back. Action unfolding nicely then on semi-final Saturday. Results from the day's play so far. Gideon Sukumulio in men's doubles top seed safely home and dry into tomorrow's final against Jomko and Kedron. Straight game affair there. Yojamin, slightly more complicated, needed around the hour mark to uh, somehow down Michelle Lee on her fourth match point. Third seed out of the women's singles. And uh, Kitty Harikin 